Hello and welcome back to the Banner Saga 2. Uh, it's been a while since I recorded this last because I actually started recording way too early compared to when this video was supposed to go up, so I don't really remember that much about what's going on. <laughs> um, so we'll see. Yeah. Um, so I'm told that you can actually get like free renown if we uh, keep. Uh, if we keep training with the training guy. So, 100 new fights will do fine. We have enough food and water to last us a day and a half. That's what it'll take me for to break them from running at the first time of, of trouble. Make it happen. Consider it done. Okay. Well, come on in and let's have a look at you. Just waiting to swing, at, wanting to swing at each other, or you're here to actually learn something that could save your life on a battlefield. Uh, what can you show me? Plenty. Try to keep up. So you know enough to not trip over your own weapon, but that's hardly impressive. Swin says, "Show me why you can fret the needle with that bow." I'm ready. Then we begin. All right. All right, Seven. I got myself a Val. During deployment, you can place your units anywhere in the Plutus area. Here we go. All right. Let's walk over here and punch this guy. There we go. Damage two enemies at once with fret the needle. Okay. Here's what I do. Break the needle. All right. Let's see. Abilities bring the pain, I guess. Oh shit! No. We need to damage two enemies at once with Fret the Needle, so I'm thinking... I think we can make it work if we go down here. No? Damn it. We want them to line up at least, so... Get rid of his strength. Alright, go over here. And then use Fred the Needle. There we go, that was the mission. It's actually surprisingly difficult to get them lined up the right way. Fred and Evil. Alright, plus 14 renown just for that? Okay, I can like totally live with that. <laughs> okay, so you can actually train in training now. You couldn't that before. 
uh, you didn't get anything out of training in the uh, in the other version. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, improve some of the low level characters we have, like Luden and Elio and Need and Morgan and Grease. Uh, just so like the Spearmaster is actually a pretty good character. We just haven't been able to use him much in the other game. He's like a uh, What's it called? What would you call it? A uh Uh he's he, he can like attack on the on the side from from like diagonally, which is actually really good. Um, so I don't know why I haven't been using that. Oh, we can like tighten straps, hunker down, bracing at the right time. You can ruin an enemy's plans to weaken you. All right. Uh, how much do you cost to upgrade? You can't. We can't promote him, but he has points apparently. That didn't occur to me that they would actually have points. Six points available, huh? That's weird. Is that because they're carried over? F that might be because they're carried over from the other game, actually. Okay. So we'll want to like check out all the characters like oops. I think I left. Yeah, there we go. I guess we'll want to check out all the characters to see if they have extra points. I even Jeez. By all means, man. Got two points there. Absolutely get all these guys. Oops. Ooh, I can like defy stubborn. Nothing left to use. You can hang on as long as you can. Thirty percent to avoid any killing blow. Hell yeah. Uh. To reach in plus twenty-five percent to reach in one armor per turn. That is some really good abilities. <laughs> okay. I think that's enough of that. I think we got all the stuff now. Who's not carrying anything? You're not carrying anything. Do I have any level 5s without any abilities? Not really. Okay. Alright. <coughs> Time to move on. I'm thinking with the new, like, uh, guild, guildsman turned into warrior thing, that we might run into more war scenarios now. I don't know. Time on the cram log ship is proving too much for the children. They're climbing ropes, interrupting rowers, and constantly leaning over the sides to touch the water. Some violent has been looking annoyed. Uh, 
Remind everyone that this will soon be over. We'll all make a sacrifice, you should say loud enough for everyone to hear. But it won't be forever. You heard some grumbling, but the members of Caravan no mostly nod their agreement. Yeah, it won't be. A cool breeze uh, across the water washes away into your cloak. You shift a block of wind and feel something press up against your hip. You feel around to find an item in your pack, but you do not remember obtaining it. Asile's trail. So the gods aren't dead. They just they just fell silent as the serpent said. I don't like that we're not seeing where the fuck they're sailing right now. The sheer cliffs and boulders from waters of the southern bank dictate the longship's course. The droning sounds of their dredge accent their quicker pace as they follow your ships along the northern bank. Dust and mist make it hard to see ahead. A hissing rumbling noise grows all around. Waterfall shouts the Shavite in from the bow her longship. Or it's instantly reversed and you nearly lose your balance. Holy shit! How would we not have known about this? Oh, because of the serpent! The serpent crossed the world in half, yeah. What do we do? That is amazing though, that's a cool design. The roar of the approaching waterfall clouds your thoughts. Though the overload of which ships with the clansmen are picked up, the archer's keen sight and warning provide some time to react. Only two ships fall to the power of the overwhelming current. Through the screens of the families, fighters and Val are difficult to move past. The, the remaining ships... Oh boy. Rowers pull hard, heading for the dredge line north and bank. In their haste, the vessel smashed across the sh sharp split rocks that they pushed towards the shore. Some fighters are thrown from the boats, sinking in mud under the weight of their armor. Long ships are too spread out to command a unified landing. Amid the chaos, you look at those nearby. Greece, a stout, Val warrior, and a few others like him look ready to rush the dredge. Bolvek and his company are close to you, holding their sealed cut off their ship. You consider your options. Oh, by the way, a uh, a correction on my part. Bolverk uh, does not mean uh, something that is shuttle made. Um, Bolverk means a um, a a form of of walling jujus and harpers to uh, to hold it together or something like that. I'm sorry. I always heard of a a a Bolverk's metals. Which is a a term for a idiot. Uh, a matos is a, a sailor. So a bollocks sailor uh, is a sailing term for an idiot. And um, I just I guess I just assume bollock means something that is surely made. Um, I've never had a, a reason to look it up and really look into what the fuck it is. Uh, so bollock is apparently like it's a, if a it's a form of like walling you use in harpers. Um, and uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, and that also kind of fits Bolverk because uh, he's kind of a. We met him at a harbor to start with, and he uh, or a, s a sailing town, I guess. And he is kind of like talking to a wall. He is like very stout and very mm. and very like very closed off, like a Bolverk closes off harbors. So yeah, that works. <laughs> Um, so I'm still convinced that someone at, um, someone at, uh, at, at Stoic probably knows either Danish, Icelandic, or Norwegian. <laughs> yeah. Um. We could use some help from the Ravens, Bolvik. For you, the Val shouts. You're not renowned enough for the Ravens to... To risk our defensive position, Volker strikes our agreement and raises herself in the Raven Shield Wall. Frustrated, you scramble to establish an assault. Units move in the order you place them, from left to right. Okay. So, Alette is... ...in front. Okay. Uh, I'd like... Uh... Let's see, actually. 
Um, what is Hawk carrying? A level three item. Here, carry a level five item instead. Then we can give his level three items is to a level three that's not carrying an item at the moment. Echo. There we go. Um. All right. Let's see. Um. Let's add. Um. Where's all Oddleaf carrying actually? Just a second. Oddleaf carrying level three item. Give her the level five flagon of mead. Give the level three item to. Bessie. Um. Let's add Luden. And Bessie actually and Eva. I kind of want to level some of these guys. Um, these two. Um, let's say the Ursa. So we get second archer. Um, and uh, what the hell we need an old faithful. Let's bring Harkon as well. Okay. Harkon is kind of an old faithful because he he uh, he he he's first off he's one of the highest level characters I own. Second off, he uh, he. I, I remember several times in the first game where fight whatever thing you've got where he uh, he ended up saving the day he ended up pretty much carrying the, the battle um, I do kind of understand that I've kind of have a lot of freaking uh, Val here the Ravens just still being on the screen is a cool like bit oh that is a lot of dredge um, so yeah, let's go over here. Okay. No, let's attack him. There we go. Watch your flag, something skulks in the shadows. Well, what is that? Oh shit. Uh, Tempest it. almost dead. Ow. No armor for you. Oh shit. Uh, I guess we can shoot this thing. More of those damn skulkers. Is that what we're calling them? Okay. Let's see. Do you have Tempest? You don't, but no worries. We can still use this to our advantage. Here we go. Oh boy, they're coming in for. I did. Now they can come in from the side just like that. That's pretty amazing. The big one's their leader. I bet they'll run if he falls. Okay. Um, okay. Shoot this guy. Oh, he got. she got promoted from that. That's pretty good. Let's see. So, if we move him over here. He can like take care of his. There we go. His armor. I'm probably gonna hurt uh, Hakon now, but honestly, it's worth it. So. Slowly moving into position. I guess it's kind of good that we didn't put them all in the same area. Okay. So 
if we move this guy hurt close enough to like actually no just attack normally there we go that didn't hurt any of our guys that's at least something want you to like take care of this guy or this lady sorry they're women apparently Okay, what's going on here? Oh boy. Interesting creature designs though. <laughs> though they look very alien. Not very uh, fantasy. Oh well. Oh boy! Okay! Um... Well, let's make sure this guy... Okay. They can go invisible, apparently. Let's, um... Focus this guy, I guess. Loon's down. That's a shame. Alright, get rid of this guy. Yeah! Who's attacking? Okay. I guess we can just get rid of this guy. There we go. He's out. Battlehorn is full of stars. Yeah. That means we should be able to just... Yeah, just use them willy-nilly. Now he dies, unfortunately. Fuck off. Hagen is still full health, surprisingly. Uh, get rid of this guy's health. Or strength, I guess. Uh, oh boy. So, so, so they can call each other to help attack. That's an interesting ability. Let's see, get rid of this guy first. He's out. She's gonna die now. I think, no? Huh. Out, out of this house, out of this house. He's out. Uh, let's uh, get rid of some of his. Damn it! Get rid of his armor then. Uh, this is when things starts to go wrong. I can tell. Okay. Where's he attacking?
go. And he dies now. Oh boy. Okay. Fucking leave. Stupid animals. Ow. Alright, kill him. Alette is a fucking badass. <laughs> Holy shit, Alette. I didn't realize how much of a badass Alette had become, but apparently, like, <laughs> damn, girl. Alright. 13 renown just from that. Hagan watched his way for frantic clansmen on his way to you. Well, some good while on those ships. Humans too, but you saved more of those along the way. Maybe too many. Okay, well. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Place. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you join next time for more shenanigans. Until then, bye.